When I say inflammation, what is the first thing that comes to your mind? Swelling, like from an injury or an insect bite, or maybe an infected cut. But what about bone loss, heart disease? Do you think of hormonal imbalance? You'd be surprised at how many health problems are a direct result of inflammation. And we're gonna talk about that and more today at Sunflower Shop. In the fight against heart disease, controlling inflammation is one of the best things you can do. Here to help us learn more about this is Herb Lewis, Vice President of New Chapter. He has over 30 years experience in the health and wellness industry and we're pleased to have him here today. Herb, let me ask you a question. Heart disease. Many people are being led to believe that high cholesterol causes heart attacks. Do you believe this to be true? Not directly, although Measuring one's cholesterol is an indicator of heart health. Now we have different levels, blood levels of cholesterol. We make different amounts of cholesterol in our liver according to our own genetic individuality. So it, a higher levels or a range of levels isn't necessarily the case. But if you have cholesterol plaque in the arteries at any point, then I think it's, it's a good point. You know, there are many markers that doctors have learned how to read to try to assess our risk for heart disease or the health of our cardiovascular system. You have cholesterol, you have LDLs, which are lipoproteins, uh, which can be a risk factor. You have homocysteine levels. Uh, but nowadays, the most important measurement for how healthy you are in your cardiovascular or how high the risk of heart disease might be is something called C-reactive protein. And this is an easy test that's now done very often Given in line with all of the other tests together, it gives us a good picture, but that's the one particular thing because it measures how inflamed your arteries are. Cardiovascular disease, heart attack and stroke are, are inflammatory diseases. Measure how inflamed you are and you'll know what kind of risk and know what kind of action to take. So medical science is really showing that inflammation is the true cause of heart, heart disease, not cholesterol necessarily. Well, I, that inflammation is the big driver. It is the big driver. And, and uh, there are many factors. It's complicated. If it weren't, no one would have to go to Harvard Medical School to learn cardiology. It's complicated. But certainly, it's absolutely clear that the biggest risk of heart disease, Alzheimer's, cancer, even diabetes and bone loss are inflammation, micro-inflammation that creeps up as we get more out of balance, perhaps as we get older, as our diet is, is poor, uh, if we don't get enough sleep, sugar, and too much meat, these are inflammatory things in our diet, and we become inflamed and we become at risk of disease, especially the number one killer, cardiovascular disease. In fact, as you point out, perhaps focusing so much on lowering cholesterol and triglycerides that we've missed the simplest way to keep people healthy and reduce their risk of heart disease, which is controlling on a daily basis their inflammation. So since inflammation is really needs to be our main focus, let's talk about some herbs to do that with. You know, what about turmeric, ginger, some of these things that are getting a lot of research and publicity behind them. There are many, many anti-inflammatory, naturally healing foods in the diet. Fish oil is anti-inflammatory. Vegetables are very often. But the key, most effective natural foods, safe natural foods that can modulate and control the inflammation levels are these spices. What's a spice? It's simply an herb with a high content of pungent oils. Spicy, hence the name spice. And the world's most important botanical, the most important herb in the world is turmeric. It has the widest range of benefits. It has a tremendous amount of studies. In fact, 156 studies are being conducted at U.S. universities right now on everything from brain health to liver health and especially cardiovascular health. One of the overarching powerful effects of turmeric is its ability not only to thin blood, but to reduce inflammation throughout the body and thus reducing the risk of some diseases and creating wellness. Turmeric is powerful. Uh, uh, its cousin, literally related, is ginger. And ginger is called the universal medicine because it's soothing to the gut. 
It helps control good flora to grow, kill pathogens. It's very intelligent. It knows what are good for us and what isn't. It helps everything absorb, and it too is a good anti-inflammatory and a really good activating effect for all kinds of other herbs. So it's universal, it's a tonic. The people that take it on a daily basis, uh, especially in Southeast Asia, show better protection against inflammatory diseases like heart disease and are healthier. One of the new chapters popular products is Zyphomin, which I know has turmeric and ginger and many other herbs in there. Can you elaborate more about why this product works for so many of our clients? Well, it's, it's a couple things. Uh, in the new chapter, Costa Rican Spice Estate, we grow blue ring ginger, very difficult to grow. There is the only organic cultivated ginger in the Western Hemisphere is at our little Luna Nueva farm in Costa Rica from where we obtain our famous ginger. We also grow a very powerful, very effective turmeric. That's part one, starting with great herbs. They all vary, you know, not uh, everything might be lettuce, not all lettuce is equally tasty. Same is true of the spices. Some have higher levels of the active ingredients if they're grown that way. Second is extract. Uh, new chapter, we have a unique extraction process which uses pressurized dense CO2 gas. And under that uh, uh, constant amount of pressure, uh, you get a wonderful effect when you can concentrate the spicy turmeric 200 times, the ginger about 120 times. So now you can, in a couple of small capsules, you can get the effects of may maybe eating 10 Indian curry meals, for example, or other spicy foods because we just won't get that much in the diet to give us the anti-inflammatory cardiovascular protection that we can get. So Zyphlamin utilizes our own unique, powerful, certified organic, uh, supercritically extracted, 300 times concentration of turmeric ginger, plus eight other important herbs, holy basil, rosemary, skullcap, and others. So the combination of those has a great synergistic effect, a wide spectrum of anti-inflammatory constituents. Now remember, there are at least 20 known pathways of inflammation. One drug, be it Celebrex, Vioxx, or aspirin, can have a powerful effect on one or two of the pathways of inflammation. But the wisdom of nature, expressed in the 10 concentrated herbs in Zyphlamin, can control and modulate all the pathways of inflammation, protecting our cardiovascular tissue, our rapid aging, as well as liver, brain, uh, heart, well, and cells across I the body. I have seen amazing results with all my clients with it, so I know how powerful turmeric can be as an anti-inflammatory. Herb, I really appreciate you being here today and coming to speak with us. Thank you very much for having me. It's pretty obvious, fighting inflammation is something we all should be doing with our diets and our supplements. So come see us at Sunflower Shop, where great health is just a way of life.